Let's talk about the ICT partner, Law Pavilion. Um, there have been so many complaints, especially trailing the last um, annual general conference. People said registration was hectic, it was tedious, because these were the same ICT providers. But how confident are you that they'll deliver on their mandate this time around? The choice of the partner is not within or wasn't an issue for me. And then, uh, but all I can say is that these guys have been working tremendously. And um, I am fairly confident that they will do a good job. What we did, what I insisted on doing, we interacted with about two other entities that said they had also done a similar thing for some other professional associations and then uh, for purposes of comparison and they all did demonstrations which we watched by which time of course commitment had been made about who would do what but then in an attempt to see whether or not uh, there were areas of improvement or if there was a need for there to be a synergy with a new organization or entity we did all that and uh, thus far I am satisfied that the guy is doing very well. And then what I also had, uh, what I intend to do is sometime before the elections, now we have the candidates. I'm going to encourage the candidates, bring your IT people if you like. Then I'm going to have a day where you will sit down, have an interaction with them, and do a dummy run. Do a demo, do an election, contrive, and then if you have any concerns about um, security and all that, based on the interaction with their own IT people, bring it on board. Then let our guy explain to you how they are going to guard against it, and then uh, I hope that will increase everybody's comfort level. Several lawyers have complained to us that at the next meeting in Benin, when there was a demonstration of the e-voting process, that when a vote was put in, it came back with seven votes. And there are fears that you know, the whole process is designed to rig. What we really did was to take people through these various steps that will lead to, from the point of accreditation to the point of voting. All right, so that happened in Benin. And then we tried to get him to like do a test run, you know, some voting thing. But what I have in mind or what the committee has in mind is a situation where we'll have dummy candidates, then we'll do a real, real election. We'll get in touch with you and tell you that please, we need for you to participate in this exercise if you don't mind. If you object, you can drop out. Those who agree, they will now take part in the exercise. I know about what happened in Benin. And then when uh, the various stages were ticking, and then it was like total votes cast. Seriously, only one vote ought to have been recorded. But then, uh, I don't know how it came out. No, no, it wasn't quite like that. I think there was a question of duplication and some repeated clicking and at the end of the day seven came out. I realized that that happened and on the floor of the house the issue was raised during the meeting and uh, where the IT guy tried to explain that. So it's not going to be an issue because the truth is when you cast your vote you have you can preserve and then you have a way of ascertaining what how you cast your vote. So it's not like you cast your vote and it disappears. You can preserve the details of your voting pattern. And at the end of the day, if it becomes necessary, you can cross-check it. At the end of the day, if you want to know how the voting was done, branch level and all that, the details will be there. But then the voting is not going to be on branch basis. No. Isn't it a compelling argument that if members of the branch know who is leading in their branches, it would engender some sense of transparency. How do you want to do that? You cast your vote at branch level, we count the votes at branch level, and declare results at branches. There are 114 branches. How are you going to do that? It's not practicable. And in any event, we are guided by the Constitution. The Constitution of the NBA didn't say you conduct your national election on state or branch basis. It's a national election. You have the branch elections which have been conducted. 
It is a suggestion, but it is a suggestion founded on fear. And that's why I don't think it will run. And the problems they are anticipating, they are not real. What would be your response to those who have expressed fears that there is a plan to rig the elections, that the establishment is behind a certain candidate and there are fears that it might be rigged? If I know the basis of the fear, if I know uh, what they are predicating the fears on, then it will be easier for me to address it. Let me, let me tell you one. There is a fear that some past presidents the current president of the NBA and the electoral chairman is behind a particular candidate. These are the kind of people that they call the establishment. That there's a design that they allow one, a certain candidate to win. I don't know whether you can rightly describe me as belonging to the establishment because I am not in the executive. I am not a past president. And unless the suggestion is that I am being teleguided in what I am doing, then I believe that that would not be a fair thing to say. And not one person has called to say, we suspect that you have been compromised. These are our reasons for saying so. I believe if you want to reach that conclusion, I am entitled to a hearing. And if you choose me, I didn't impose myself on the association. And I, I, must, I can also tell you here that when I was told initially, I declined because I had just been made the chairman of the local organizing committee for the next meeting, which I did. So when this one came, I was actually abroad when they sent me my letter. And I said, no, I wasn't going to do it. But then somebody has to do it. So I believe I deserve support rather than condemnation when if people say establishment i'm not in a position to respond to that because i really don't know like i said upon what they are predicating their fears i am not a core bar politician but all i can tell you is that the committee is also not expected to, and we don't take dictations from the, from the executive. I'll do my damn best to make sure that we do a credible elections if I can. If I know areas where we are, because there were complaints that we were not meeting our time targets, I knew that, yes, I have tried to explain why these problems came about. If I stuck strictly to the time thing, which will have been okay, a lot of branches would have been disenfranchised. If the portal had been on for over a month, the idea was for you to go in there and check. Time was to run out on a Thursday. Then suddenly by Wednesday, the whole country is up in arms. What were you doing before the last one month? Now, so these are the problems. So people too must examine themselves to see whether they are supportive of the efforts or whether by their deliberate conduct they are derogating from it or making it a little more difficult. And it's easy to sit on the sideline and criticize. Come on board, tell us your honest to goodness experience and we'll work on it. Those who call in to say we have, they will tell you, I've, I take all my calls, I don't screen calls. Up to 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., they are calling and then they tell me the problems. I get in touch with Okwer, I get in touch with the administrative assistant, I give them email addresses where you can send in this stuff. The only thing we have declined to do is to entertain individual complaints. Say, please come through your chairman. And I must tell you, there are branches where they have issues. They Lagos have two persons, court. Lagos Abuja is in court, court, Abuja is in court. Some other branch, when we told them, write to me, bring it to me, the chairman wrote, sent us receipts, based on which we were uploading the names. Guess what? The treasurer calls him to say, Hi. we should disregard it because what the chairman sent was a product of inappropriate access to their receipt booklet. Now, how do you want me, a chairman has sent a name, backed up by branch receipts, which he authenticated. Then somebody else calls him to say, ignore that. The chairman had inappropriate access to the branch receipts. It was based on that. And at the end of the day, it turned out that they had issues in the branch about who is the authentic chairman and who is not. So those are matters that um, the committee may not be, have the competence really to deal with, but we try to micromanage the situation. And in all cases, we have no option than to go with the next position.